I could not be more proud or excited to welcome to the stage founder and CEO of Donors Choose, Charles Best. Charles launched this organization in 2000 out of a Bronx public high school where he taught history for five years. To date, teachers at 85% of all public schools high five because you are those folks in America have created classroom projects on Donors Choose. 4.5 million supporters have given over a billion, yes, I said billion dollars to those projects for you and your teacher colleagues. Donors Choose is one of Oprah Winfrey's ultimate favorite things. It's also one of my favorite things and was featured on the cover of Fast Company as one of the 50 most innovative companies in the world. Charles, I could never do you justice with an intro. I could go on and on, but teachers, please join me in giving a warm welcome to Charles. Alex, thank you so much. Teachers of Donors Choose, my colleagues and I are so honored and grateful that you carved out three hours of your day to be part of this gathering. Now, we, we love working at Donors Choose. We love rallying supporters and securing big gifts to get your projects funded. We love fulfilling your projects when they're funded. We love answering your questions along the way. But there's one thing that we miss out on, which is that we don't get to meet most of the teachers we serve. We have teachers on our board of directors and we talk to individual teachers whenever we're thinking about what to build next on our site, but we work from our office and our homes. So we don't often have face-to-face -face conversations with the teachers who are our reason for being. So this gathering really means a lot to us. Donors Choose grew out of my classroom 21 years ago. And this is the first time I've had a chance to speak directly to our teacher community. So thank you for making this possible. And it's all the more meaningful to have you in virtual conversation, knowing what you have been through over the last year and a half, knowing the challenges you've faced during the pandemic, the challenges you've overcome, the challenges that still loom large. I just want to acknowledge that you are persevering through the most trying time anyone can remember, and your dedication is humbling to witness. I also want to call out what an inspiration you've been to my colleagues and me, to the hundreds of thousands of donors who've given to your projects and who, in the process, get a window into the incredible difference you make for your students. There are so many ways to see that teachers are a national treasure, and I think one of them is to look at the projects you've created on our site. Your projects show the needs in our classrooms, the dreams you have for your students, the creativity you possess, we often talk about the wisdom of the front lines that donors choose, by which we mean that teachers know their students better than anyone else in the system. And they can come up with micro solutions that are smarter and more innovative than anything people would come up with from on high, which is why donors choose is such a showcase of teacher ingenuity. And I wanna give you just a, a couple examples of that ingenuity, because it might get your wheels turning. I just saw a project from Ms. Lee, a special education teacher in Arizona who requested kits of sensory materials for each of her students to have at home, something hundreds of teachers have requested. I saw a project from Mrs. Bendezu, an art teacher at an elementary school in Delaware, who requested cardboard looms and yarn in many colors so that each of her students can make weavings at home and share them on a video call. And a project from Mr. Smith, a seventh grade teacher in Vermont, who requested flour and yeast so that his students could learn how to bake medieval style bread at home and feel a little bit less food insecure. And then a project from Ms. Young, a middle school science teacher in California. She works with immigrant students who've recently arrived in the US. And she wrote that usually the wonder of hands-on science can overcome language barriers. But with distance learning, hands-on learning in the classroom wasn't an option. So Ms. Young asked for materials for each of her kids to make a bird feeder at home, plus peanut butter and suet and different kinds of bird seed so that her students could experiment with different bird feeders and bird food, collect evidence and data, conduct investigations, make scientific discoveries from their homes. And this November, they're gonna share the data they've collected as part of a citizen science program to monitor bird feeder activity. I don't know what your next project will be, what need you'll want to address, what opportunity you'll wanna give your students, but I can tell you that we are just so honored to be the place where you express those needs and those dreams. People and partners have now donated more than a billion dollars to fund two million of your projects. 
We have come quite a ways from our launch 21 years ago at a high school in the Bronx where I taught history and where my colleagues and I were spending too much of our own money on school supplies and thinking there might be people out there who'd want to help teachers like us if they could see where their money was going. Back then, Donors Choose operated out of my classroom and my students, whom you can see here, helped to get the site off the ground and we never dreamed it would become what it has. And over this next school year, my colleagues and I are gonna keep working our tails off to support you and to help get your projects funded. Speaking of helping to get your projects funded, I'm thrilled to announce that next Thursday, Bill Gates will give a 50% boost to every donation to every project on our site. So if someone gives $20 to your project, Gates will make it $30. Some of you may have received this kind of support from Bill Gates or the Gates Foundation in back to school moments past. And you know that year after year, this tends to be the one moment on our site where more projects get funded than any other, where more donors mobilize to support teachers. So if ever there was a moment to request what your students need as they come back to school, this is the time to do it. More than anything, I want to welcome you to this momentous new school year. And there's someone who can express that welcome and our appreciation of you better than anyone. That someone is Yvette Nicole Brown. <laughs> Yvette is a star in TV shows like Community, in movies like Disney's Disenchanted, which she just returned from shooting in Ireland. She's a contestant in game shows like Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, through which she's won a huge amount of money for projects on Donors Choose. She is an Emmy nominee, and she is the newly elected vice chair of our board of directors and a dear friend. <laughs> Yvette, what would you like to say to our teachers? Well, first I want to say what a wonderful introduction. I want to put you in my pocket and take you everywhere I go. Can you announce please. me at Ralph's the next time I buy some eggs? My yes, goodness. Please. Um, I want to listen, everyone that knows me knows that I love teachers. I you may not know that I wanted to be a teacher before I decided to act or sing or whatever else I do in the world. I wanted to be an elementary school teacher. Um, so I have a soft spot for uh, all of you wonderful people that give so much of yourself. The thing that I love about Donors Choose and what, what Charles created 20 years ago, um, 21 years ago now, is um, that he saw the need and he saw how much you guys give of your own money and your own time to bless the babies. I call the kids the babies. And so the idea that he wanted to put something in place for you guys to have a full, rich, um, how, as big as your imagination is, that's how big you could dream and we could, we the donors could help you fulfill that. So um, nothing makes me happier than, you know, amplifying your projects on Twitter and going on game shows and winning money. Um, and I do all these things because I see you. I believe in you. I believe that you are unsung heroes. I know that especially this last year, it has been very, very difficult and trying between virtual classes and some of you had to go in. It's just been a, a, a lot of stuff. Um, but you show up every day and you make um, creating creative spaces for these babies to learn a priority and you do it to your own detriment and you sacrifice. And I think that is the most beautiful thing I could imagine. Um, that phrase, um, not all heroes wear capes was, was created in my mind for teachers. So um, I just wanted to come. I just got back from Ireland, as Charles said, um, but I, it was important for me to, to find a, a lash to put on and put a little lip gloss on for you so I didn't, didn't scare anybody today and just come in and let you know that um, I see you and I celebrate you. And if you year after year, this tends to be the one moment on our site where more projects get funded than any other, where more donors mobilize to support teachers. So if ever there was a moment to request what your students need as they come back to school, this is the time to do it. More than anything, I want to welcome you to this momentous new school year. And there's someone who can express that welcome and our appreciation of you better than anyone. That someone is Yvette Nicole Brown. <laughs> Yvette is a star in TV shows like Community, in movies like Disney's Disenchanted, which she just returned from shooting in Ireland. She's a contestant in game shows like Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, through which she's won a huge amount of money for projects on Donors Choose. She is an Emmy nominee, and she is the newly elected vice chair of our board of directors and a 
dear friend. <laughs> Yvette, what would you like to say to our teachers? Well, first I want to say what a wonderful introduction. I want to put you in my pocket and take you everywhere I go. Can you announce Please. me at Ralph's the next time I buy some eggs? My I want to listen. Everyone that knows me knows that I love teachers. I you may not know that I wanted to be a teacher before I decided to act or sing or whatever else I do in the world. I wanted to be an elementary school teacher. So I have a soft spot for all of you wonderful people that give so much of yourself. The thing that I love about Donors Choose and what Charles created 20 years ago, um, 21 years ago now, is that he saw the need and he saw how much you guys give of your own money and your own time to bless the babies. I call the kids the babies. And so the idea that he wanted to put something in place for you guys to have a full, rich, how, as big as your imagination is, that's how big you could dream. And we could, we, the donors could help you fulfill that. Nothing makes me happier than amplifying your projects on Twitter and going on game shows and winning money. And I do all these things because I see you. I believe in you. I believe that you are unsung heroes. I know that especially this last year, it has been very difficult and trying between virtual classes and some of you had to go in. It's just been a, a lot of stuff, but you show up every day and you make creating creative spaces for these babies to learn a priority and you do it to your own detriment and you sacrifice. And I think that is the most beautiful thing I could imagine. That phrase, not all heroes wear capes was created in my mind for teachers. I just wanted to come. I just got back from Ireland, as Charles said, but I, it was important for me to find a lash to put on and put a little lip gloss on for you so I didn't, didn't scare anybody today and just come in and let you know that I see you and I celebrate you and if you guys have anything you ever want me to amplify at YMB on Twitter all you got to do is tag me and I will push it out mm -hmm. I am convinced that as soon as someone goes to donors choose once they will go every day to try to find someone to help and I'm just overjoyed that it helps you guys. So that's it. I just came to say I love you and I see you and I celebrate you. And thank you for prioritizing the youth of this country. It's a beautiful thing you do. You really, you guys are the gift. You're the gift. I just wanted to say that. That's right. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm just enjoying the messages and the love that's pouring forth in the chat. It's just amazing. Thank you so much, Yvette. You, thank you. Teachers can see Yvette is the beating heart of Donors Choose, and, and now you can appreciate why. Alex, would you like to close us out? Absolutely, Charles. It's the end of a historic day. It was our first teacher summit ever. How exciting, y'all. We got to gather here with so many folks that are doing the work in their classrooms every single day. They're getting ready to go back into classrooms virtually and seeing their students sometimes in person for the first time in a year and a half. What a day. I hope each and every one of you is feeling the support and the admiration of folks across the country. We got to see Yvette Nicole Brown today. We got to see Ashton Kutcher today. All types of support happening. Happening. We got to have really important conversations and learn from our teacher friends. I hope that today's sessions have brought up new ideas, have sparked questions for you, and have inspired you for this upcoming year.